Hello, it's great to be with you. And no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And we're on the cusp of bringing you live action from one of the most exciting leagues in Europe, the Championship. It's Sheffield Wednesday up against Watford. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Here's the Sheffield Wednesday starting 11. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And so the initial 11 for Watford. Well, they're playing the same shape, really. So it's all about getting control of that central area. And which of the wide players has the greatest effect on the game? Thank you. Enjoy the game. And the match begins. Harry Clark. Gray now. Andrews. Phil Foden now. Adeyemi. Well, using the space really well, but now can they push on? And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Who can they pick out? Making sure nothing came of it. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, Bukayo Saka is a player capable of taking any game by the scruff of the neck. Stuart, what are you looking forward to seeing from him? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out situations, he can find that penetrative pass. Oh, Stuart, opportunity here! And a goal it is! No long wait for the opener today! Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Windas. Johnson in possession. Chance to cross. And it took a little nick before it went over the touchline. So a throw in here. Promising move. A fine reading of the situation. Counter-attacking chance. And threading it through. Well, I must say, it did look so promising, but the flag is raised. Offside the verdict, Stuart. Well, he's just too eager there. It's the right run, but he's made it too early. Opportunity it is. Oh, great defending. Foden. Bukayo Saka. Well, can they exploit the space out wide? Foden. 
Chukwueze. And he thwarted the attack with a masterful tackle. Valentin. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Chance to play it in. And he keeps going. And a chance to level it. Oh, that's an expert piece of defending, just as it was looking threatening. Adeyemi. Phil Foden. Chukwueze. Not a poor touch and unable to keep it in play. Throw in to come. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Can he put it in? Vital intervention. And the referee has given the corner. So maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. Still not clear. Saka has eyes for goal. Oh, a smart stop. And over comes the corner. Well, did his job defensively. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Surely. Wonderful challenge. But the chance is still on. Liam Palmer. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. The first half here comes to an end. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. So back underway here into the second half. Harry Clark. Lovely ball over the top. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Now, what can they do from here? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Foden, no oh, managing to beat him, opportunity, and a goal! Cause for celebrations again, two in front. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And the finish from Foden shows what a good technical player he is. It's an excellent goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Karim Adeyemi and so 30 minutes left for play in this one corner kick forthcoming so a personnel change then 
Tyler Patterson to be replaced by number four, Will Vaux. He's driven in the corner. Oh, splendid header, but a fine save. Half-hearted clearance. It's opening up for them. Chukwese. And all doing their bit to keep them out. Happy birthday from all your friends and family. Will Volks. Released it nicely. And Watford doing well to regain possession. And the referee allowing the game to flow, using advantage. He could pick out a teammate. Foden. And able to close down the shot. Watford regaining possession. Andrews. Saka. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Pulls it back. In position. Stopped a certain goal. Oh, great header. Smart stop, though. Well, the goalkeeper making a big contribution and denying him another one. Well, it's another chance for him. As you said, he looks so hungry for goals today. Strong but fair tackle. And they need to get tighter. That's a high-quality pass. Magnificent defending. Cross could be useful. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Has eyes for goal. Well, as he hit that one, it looked as though it had a chance. And I must say that's very good refereeing, going back to hand out the yellow card in that fashion. So on the cusp of the final whistle, and the visitors very much in command, Stuart. Well, I think the scoreline reflects the difference between the two teams. For most of the game, they've dictated the play and they've created some really good chances. I think it's been an excellent performance. I'm not testing the keeper at all with that effort. Saka. Emmanuel Dennis. Phil Foden now. This looks interesting. And it's opening up. Tenacious tackling, excellent defending there. Bernard with it. Poveda. And there it is, the final whistle. The story here, a victory for Watford. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Well, a lot of positives as we reflect on what we saw from Phil Foden in this match. Well, I thought he was excellent. Not only did he score a good goal, but his general play was outstanding. He certainly played a major part in their win here today.